I'm not sure how many of you have heard of Josh Mandel. We talked about him on the program before. He's running against Morgan Harper. Now, she's currently competing in a Democratic Party primary with Tim Ryan, but he made headlines because he was extremely rude in a debate that he had, a one-on-one debate that he had with Morgan Harper, and he said that she was dumber than AOC. And then when he said that, He was booed by the crowd, rightfully so, because he was being incredibly rude. And then the next day, after he got booed, he went on Fox News and cried about how the crowd was racist because they booed him. But they didn't boo you because they're racist because you're white. They booed you because you were being a jerk. Uh, So he just released an ad where he takes aim at critical race theory. And I've seen the ad and I had to share it with you all because it is bonkers. And I'm just going to give you a forewarning. I will be pausing this quite a bit here. Uh, but we we have to we have to check this out. Uh, by the way, I believe comments are disabled here. Yeah, comments are uh, turned off. You can't see it, but comments are turned off. Um, so that's always a good sign that you're confident in your message when you turn off comments. But nonetheless, let's watch his ad. Critical race theory is crap. So that's how the ad starts. I don't know who this lady is, uh, Regina McManus. Why do we just have like some random person saying critical race theory is crap? Who are you, lady? Um, maybe I'll Google her real, real quick because I don't, I don't know who this is. So Regina McManus. It's so weird. You might as well start the ad with pineapple belongs on pizza or doesn't belong on pizza. I just don't understand. Uh, so I don't even there's like multiple Regina McManuses that are popping up. And I feel like. Is this the person? A girl should be three things. Something, sassy, and a Republican. False. A girl should not be a Republican. Like, is this literally just a random person? It kind of looks like that person. Who is Regina McManus? Why would you just put this random person in your ad? That's so strange to me. But, you know, we're, we're just like one second in, and I already have a lot of questions. But uh, let's continue. We'll start it over since I... Theory I is crap. Martin Luther King. You're right crap. Here. So skin color wouldn't matter. I didn't do two tours in Ambar province fighting alongside. Now, I'm going to pause it right here for a second. Does anyone notice anything strange with this particular image? Now, I'm, I'm going to play it and then um, we'll understand why he's showing you this image. Means of every color to come home and be called a racist. So he's showing a picture with him and black people just to prove that he's not racist. That's so strange. See, I'm not racist. Here's a picture of me with black people and I didn't even say anything racist to them. We got along perfectly. Do you want a cookie? Congratulations, great. Uh, What's the point of this? Now, uh, (laughs) if you notice his uh, head, it's a completely different color than his hands. So uh, when I first saw saw this, I literally like I I soy faced genuinely because I thought, no, he did not. Please do not tell me he photoshopped his white face on a picture of a black man. Did he do that? Because if you look at this, it looks like he did that. Does it not? So I'm sitting here thinking. He's he's shameless. I mean, if anyone would do this, it would be Josh Mandel, right? But, but, turns out it's fake news. Uh, Snopes actually did a fact check about this. Did Mandel forget to Photoshop his hands in a campaign ad? Because you'd think, okay, if you're going to Photoshop your head onto somebody else's body, wouldn't you make sure you get the hands? <laughs> uh, but they say false. Now... I was in disbelief when I saw this. You know, I was feeling a little bit of cognitive dissonance because I thought there's very clearly two different colors here. Like, something is going on. It's it's a bad Photoshop. It's something, right? Uh, but when you take a look at the original image where they did not apply the filter for this ad, it does look more natural, right? So the filter that they applied looked to be like a filter that darkened it. I don't know specifically what filter it was, Uh, But you can see that this filter makes the lower portion of the image darker, right? So I'm not sure if it's like a vignette or something like that, but his hands are absolutely darker here 
than they are in the original photo. So it definitely, I'm, I'm going to have to say it's fake news, but the thought that he would do something like that, I wouldn't put it past him, but in this instance, he is innocent, doesn't take away from the stupidity of this ad, but the fact that so many people are thinking that he photoshopped his head onto somebody else's body is hilarious. <laughs> I, lo I love this. It's not true, unfortunately, but the ad is still dumb. So uh, let's, let's finish the ad here. I didn't do two tours in Ambar province, fighting alongside Marines of every color to come home. These are literally like these two pictures right here, by the way, are probably like the only pictures that he's ever taken with black people. That's why he put them in. Otherwise, if there were more pictures, he would have put them all in here. I just, it's so weird. I'm not racist. Look, it's so straight. Like, stop doing this. You all have to stop doing this. It's so weird. I'd Marines of every color to come home and be called a racist. There's nothing racist about stopping critics. Notice how one of his eyes is smaller than the other. I just got to point out, like, they do the same thing with LGBTQ plus people too. Well, look, I, my cousin is gay. I know someone who's gay. But, like, how would you do that? Like, what's the photo equivalent? Because you can, like, I guess disprove your racism by showing yourself in a picture with somebody who's black. But how do you do that with someone who's gay? Would they be like... <laughs> like posing like in more of like an effeminate way. Like, I don't know how you would recreate this, but you know that this would be his whole defense too. Well, I served with gay people. I served with trans people. I served with women. Like this is just gonna be his thing, right? Uh, it, it's so weird that I'm not racist. I have a black friend is still a thing that we see consistently. It's so strange. And first of all, this is his ad. Why is he bringing this up? Nobody asked, who's calling you a racist, dude? So you just put this front and center. I'm not racist. Okay, this is your ad. You can say anything you want to, but you choose to say I'm not racist. Why are you so defensive? Who are you trying to convince? Us or yourself? I mean, this dude is fucking unhinged. He is insane. Yeah, some of his best friends are black. Yeah, Josh, uh, I don't know how old he is. He looks like he's probably like an older millennial. No millennial has any friends black or white you have no friends you're lonely all of us are lonely we're living in our our fucking small apartments with no friends we're just doom scrolling on twitter you have no friends shut the fuck up to come home and be called a racist there's nothing racist about stopping critical race theory i can't get over how one of his eyes is smaller than the other like the sun has to be in his eyes and loving america josh wow. mandel pro god pro gun see this is a picture of him and his husband i'm assuming Trump. <laughs> this imagine making this your slogan pro god pro gun pro trump and then i don't know if this was the only time he met donald trump but you picked the doofiest fucking picture of you i mean look at this motherfucker look at that face i absolutely would not choose this photograph if i were him at least his eyes are the same size there but like this is the picture with your thumbs up what a fucking dweeb Holy shit. I want to push him into a fucking locker. That's the that's the feeling that I get. Like, I have this urge. It's inexplicable. I just want to shove him into a, lo a locker and call him a fucking nerd. What a dweeb. Pro-God, pro-gun, pro-Trump. What does that even mean? What's the policy implications of being pro-God, pro-gun, pro-Trump? So you're against regulations with regard to firearms. You are pro-God. So what? You want a theocracy? You want to subvert the constitution's you know a uh, separation between church and state i don't know what that means pro trump what does that mean i mean I, I you support his policies which ones in particular does trump even know what policies he supports what does this mean like this is a terrible slogan he's very clearly just pandering like he started the ad with some random woman saying critical race theory sucks and then he says i'm not racist and then he goes to i'm pro trump Dude, you have no substance. What policies are you running on? What laws would you introduce and co-sponsor if you were elected to Congress? What exactly are you running for Congress? I, I, I just, I feel like there's got to be more here, right? But this is it. He's probably more substantive than 90% of Republicans running for Congress, which is sad, right? Josh Mandel, and I approve this message. You want a fighter? Send in the Marine. Oh, that one was cringeworthy. Pro-gun, pro-God pro-Trump. It just makes you look like a simpleton. I'm sorry. And to go back to the beginning of this ad. Critical race theory is crap. Fuck you, Regina. Nobody cares about your opinion. Who are you? Who are you? So he, here's this random woman. He's like, hey, can you do me a favor, lady on the street? Can you come over here and uh, say critical race theory is crap? 
in the most Karen voice imaginable. I just don't. This is such a stupid ad. And I, I'm so sad that this is not what it looked like at first. I'm so sad that he didn't Photoshop his head on somebody else's body because that would have been absolutely fucking hilarious. But, you know, we'll, we'll have to settle. <laughs> Josh Mendel, folks. Um, probably not the dumbest Republican if he were to be elected. But just, I think, indicative of the rest of the Republican Party. Just stupid um, free of substance, never talks about policy, and is very, very defensive about whether or not they're racist. Okay, cool. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.